One of the greatest things about short par fours is that anything can happen. And this is one of the typical great little short holes. with an iron just trying to play for position but that one safely in play he's going to have a good angle lots of applause but he didn't seem very enchanted with it watch this rhythm Yeah, this is a four iron that is completely whiffed. Four. Oh, and the cry of four. Good shot, but uh, certainly over the back of the green. It'll be an extremely difficult chip, but he has got uh, he's got a chance of getting it close from there. Nicely done Plus indeed. Seven. Good touch. Of course, he could still get a four. To clean up his par. So only a par. Close. Oh, man, oh, man. And a birdie opportunity if he takes advantage of it. That, that's a good stroke. He hit it where he wanted to. He just didn't quite judge it correctly. From that length that uh, he is he is not really comfortable with. Really pretty tempo, though, huh, Daddy? Wonderful tempo. Over to Brad Faxon. Thanks, Dan. Par four and very difficult today. Only one birdie on this hole. Looks like a three wood. Yes. Now he's gone into rough there, not bad. Not an easy shot. This is not many players' favourite course because of that, because it's too difficult for them. That 
is a great shot from that line, that position. Good all-around game, doesn't he, David? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Big, strong, long, straight. Good putter. Little, you know, rather than being old, short, crooked like yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a very good shot from the rough. Okay, we played this hole pretty well, haven't we? on the move as if it was uh, bound to go in. Of course, he could still get a four. Knocks it right in. Excellent par right there. Excellent par. We'll see the shorter par five. This has been the easiest hole on the day. Well, that one is at the bunkers. Not sure if it had enough on it to get there. Yeah, it just bounced in, David. Now it's a question of trying to hit a good layup from sand to a distance that you like. Sounded good. A good strike. Went to back to his wedge. He made a good decision here. Oh. Very nicely played. Very nicely played. It's this putt for a birdie. Straight and firm might get the job done. Yep, nails it. Beautiful little hole. Got to get the ball in position. Should really suit his shot shape. And it's found to sand. But he's left himself a hurried shot. Now, well, how about this shot coming up, David? Well, it's a pretty clean lie, but the sand is uh, of a consistency here where the ball does want to sit down and the lip not really an issue. the club up in the air quickly. You can hear by the thump. He used the bounce of the sand wedge. Yeah, everything he does is really the way you want to do it. He's a great guy to copy. At the par three. And not happy. Won't be a short birdie putt, but a short, but a birdie putt nonetheless. He'll have, ooh, 30, 35 feet for his birdie. It 
was right in the jaws if he would have hit it. Nice lag effort there. Tricky green this one where that hole's located. Peter, this is a hole where you expect to make birdie? Yeah, I think mentally when you uh, when you line up your scorecard before you tee off, there are a couple holes and you expect to make birdies. If you walk away from here with a five, at least in the player's mind, that's a bogey. Oh, and he has ripped it. Getting a lot of roll out there. Very nice indeed. Maybe close enough to reach the green from there. Well, the players will all tell you this is a birdieable hole from the fairway. Pull to the left. It's got to go to get over the bunker. Well, it caught that bunker. Very fortunate that it pitched out of its pitch mark there. He would have had a fried right. egg sandwich. Well, hmm. Now he's got, he's got a job to get down to two more from there. I'll tell you that. You begin to feel a little silly, don't you? When, yeah. you, when you can't get out of bunkers with it. You know, these are proper bunkers. They're hazards. They're not there just for decoration. And he's got a little jumper here. Now this is tough. Shoot out the flag out. <laughs> wow. So close to going in. This is a good par four. Particularly when it's into the wind, it's a bit of a monster. Well, he's laying that pretty far back. But it is in the fairway. As you can see there, well back. With an eight iron, not particularly good. Yeah, not very good. Not very good when you get an eight iron in your hand on this hole. Yeah, he's quite a way away, so I thought he was a little nearer. Yeah, he's a good, you know, 55, 60 feet, I believe. Long putt. He'll be happy with two. Certainly will now. These are ones you're expected to make. Par four, no damage done. It's a very good escape. A simple hole, a simple looking hole like this. And he could well drop a couple of shots. Not using the driver, playing for position. Very nicely done. Well, got a good chase and run on that one. Good position. Now looking to hit the green.
You can see he dropped the club out of one end. You know he scruffed it a little bit, and he's going to leave that short. That that will be a golf mutter right there. There they are. I can tell did that. Yeah, that's not a good shot there, Vern. Oh boy, a little is protective. It ever. David, I read somewhere about the stats of keeping the pin in and keeping it out. And do you know you're, you're, you're in favor of keeping it in, aren't you? Yeah. And you're right. Long putt. They'll be happy with two. Certainly will now. I've seen him play some fantastic shots around the green. It could be only fitting if he knocked one of these in. You don't have to do much wrong to get on the, the wrong sort of rhythm like that. making a little bit of a hash of this but one good putt and all is forgiven well it surely wasn't a good putt can't do much worse than that making an absolute mess out of this hole. They just overread it. See if he can get this ball up to the hole. That was a good putt.